we are discussing the air sterilization system that is the second part of uh, the oxygen delivery system. So, as we have seen that uh, the Teflon filters are mostly used on a small scale fermenter, but the sterilization of the inlet and the exit air in large scales bioreactors more than 10,000 liter capacity that can present a major design problems because on a large scale filtration is very expensive process. The filters also have a very expensive material and then they are their other problems. So, it is uh, very difficult to make and the make the filter and then their energy requirement that is very considerable factors while designing while selecting the filtrate material or a different filter for large scale fermenters. As we know that heat sterilization is uh, an alternative option apart from the filter system heat sterilization system is also used. So, the steam can use to sterilize the air in older style compressors it was possible to use heat generated by the air compression process to sterilize the air because sometimes when the compressor compress the air in that process heat is also produced when that heat is produced. So, that is automatically help to sterilize the air, but at that time the heat temp is required and the temperature is required created by that compressor should be that must need the sterilization requirement. But if we say if we use that uh, compressor heat just for the sterilization of the air then before supply to the fermentation vessel then that has to cool down to the required temperature that is needed inside the fermenter. So, that is why before injecting into the fermentation vessel that there should be a multi device uh, cool system is required that is attached to the fermentation. So, that is very critical mostly the in a small scalar uh, small scale reactors we can see here that uh, these are the small teflon type but in case of the high scale large scale this uh, is the mostly the hepa filters before talking about this we are discussing about uh, the sterilization of uh, air through heat either through the dry heat either through the compressor heat, but here I want to talk here about this that uh, on a large scale uh, fermenters that uh, mostly the HEPA filter high efficiency particular particulate resistance filters are mostly used. You can see in this uh, uh, slide the arrangement and the packing of that material just to have the pore size of 0.2 micron. Uh, to 0.4 fine micron, but this is the small size of uh, HEPA filter that is mostly used in uh, different uh, fermentation and other biomedical equipment. But as we know that we are talking about the air sterilization and then the condenser is needed just that is the simple heat exchanger through which the cool water is passed around the air chambers that uh, just to maintain the temperature. So, in such case there is another problem when the air has to exit from that then there is uh, the volatile substances and then air has to pass through that then there is the fermenter should be attached with the condenser. So, before exit the air outside then that 
should pass through the condenser and condenser should be linked with the chilled water so that's why that minimize there are two role of that uh, condenser one is that uh, reduce the escape of the volatile compounds on other hand that also reduce the evaporation loss through the fermentation so the dry the air also prevents the blocking of the air exit air filter with the water but in problem of uh, using the filter on the exit point because when the air pass through the medium that mostly become wet and that is the more chances of uh, the choking or the blocking of the exit filters so in such case we have to be very careful because sometimes when there is a blockage of the air from the outside in a exit point then what happen there is a continuously rise of the pressure so in case of the laboratory scale fermenter when the vessel is made up of the glass then there is a chance of uh, burst so we have to be very careful while uh, maintaining that uh, the pressure on exit point